The following is a production of Learfield Sports. It's the final regular season meeting for the next couple of years between Wisconsin and Ohio State. We'll look back at some of the highlights from Saturday's game between the Badgers and the Buckeyes. Now, Wisconsin is idle this coming weekend, but doesn't mean they're just going to sit around. We'll get thoughts from Gary Anderson on the week ahead for his Badgers team. And we'll also continue our senior salutes going with both the offensive and defensive lines today. It's all coming up on the Badger Sports Report. Riddera's slot right. Stavi in the gun, James White to the left of the quarterback. Buckeyes teasing blitz. And some pressure, Stavi to throw, has time, throws it deep at Rodera, has got it at the 10, at the 5, to the end zone, touchdown Wisconsin. Jared Abraderis beats Bradley Roby, and the Badgers are on the board. Stavi, a play fake on first down, looking, winds up, throws it over the middle. Abraderis wide open, 45-50, slanting left, 45-40, 35-30, 25-20, to the 15, and brought down near the 10-yard line by C.J. Barnett, as Jared Abraderis was wide open. First down, Wisconsin, at the 13 of Ohio State. Yeah, yeah, I thought Jared played really well. I thought we did a good job protecting up front and giving us time to uh, be able to drive the ball down the field, and I thought, um, you know, I was really positive. Yeah, I mean, anytime you know you get one-on-one, -on -one, you have to be able to take advantage of it. Um, but obviously wasn't able to do enough, um, and that's, that's frustrating. I think two good football teams played tonight. Uh, obviously, 1-1, one, one, and uh, we'll sit where we're at. Uh, it's, uh, it was a game of swings, a game of big plays. Proud of the way our kids fought, kept competing throughout the whole game. Uh, at the end of the day, we gave them too many layups, uh, didn't make them shoot enough jump shots and three pointers. Can't do it. They took advantage of it. And again, that's speaking with complete uh, credit to Ohio State for making the plays when they were given the opportunity. But we have to be able to make it difficult. Uh, that's what that's what a, a great team will do. And if you're going to be a great team, you got to make those special plays and special moments. Picked off Portland with room, 40. Touchdown, James White. The Badgers are headed to the Rose Bowl for the third straight year. Steve down the middle. Amber Darius got it. 15. Slanting right, 10, 5. Touchdown, Wisconsin. The Badger Sports Report with Gary Anderson is brought to you by Charter Communications. By the Dairy Farm Families of Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. By Hyundai. By Adidas. By Toyota. And by UW Health, a cornerstone partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One day, Cancer as we know it will cease to exist. But until then, there will be no rest, for they are the ones who push science, who seek more effective protocols and preventions, the ones who treat the most complex of cancers in search of cures. They are the world-renowned physicians, researchers, and healthcare professionals at the University of Wisconsin Carbone Cancer Center, Wisconsin's only nationally designated comprehensive cancer center. UW Health. Remarkable. Men love sports, but men can't always be at home with Charter TV watching sports. So men do what men have to do. They watch live ESPN on their mobile devices. Not simulated sports, real sports. Live ESPN, anytime, anywhere, even here. Watch ESPN is available at no extra charge for Charter TV customers. Download the app or visit charter.net slash on the go. As a strength and conditioning coach to some of Wisconsin's top athletes, people always ask me, what's the secret to top performance? I always tell them that what happens after your workout is just as important as what happens during the workout. My advice, be sure to refuel with low-fat chocolate milk. It has the perfect mixture of protein, carbs, and electrolytes to help you refuel, rehydrate, and build muscle. In Wisconsin, athletes win with low-fat chocolate milk. And you can too. To learn more, visit winwithchocolatemilk.com. Some schools use a sign to identify themselves. The chop, the fork, the O, 
hook them horns. But there is one sign every team wants to be identified with. Fans show their loyalty in all kinds of ways. Ours, just buy another Hyundai. See what loyalty looks like at the loyalty report on the post game. Stabby takes the snap, play fake, little roll to his right, looking, he'll heave it deep, right side, Abradar is reaching up, and he caught it inside the 15-yard line. Oh, a big-time catch from Jared Abradaris as he goes to the turf at the 11 of Ohio State. Badgers back into the Case IH red zone. Merlo side behind Braxton Miller. Takes the snap, play fake. Miller drops the throw, has plenty of time. Looking, looking, breaks off to his right, and he is brought down behind the line of scrimmage by Warren Herring. Warren played well last week, gets himself a sack. Since 25 and counting, left third quarter. Buckeyes up 10, going for it on fourth and short. With about a half a yard. Pistol formation, handoff Carlos Hyde, and he is stopped short, driven back. Badgers turn him back. Borland and Muldoon get in there for the stick. Stavi in the shotgun, back to throw, three-man rush. Joel steps up, fires over the middle, caught inside the 25. Alex Erickson to the 24. First down, Wisconsin. Clock stops to move the sticks, 2.32 remaining. Connor Udelhoven will snap, Drew Meyer will hold. 42-yard try, Kyle French from the left hash mark. Lines are set, snap, spot, kick is away, and it is good. Kyle French with a 42-yard field goal. Stavi on fourth down, out of the shotgun, takes the snap, three-man rush. Joel looks, throws right side, and it is incomplete. Intended for Jeff Duckworth, Terrain Grant on the coverage, and that'll wrap it up in Columbus. Coaches, myself, the kids, challenge them in a way of real simple is what I just said. You, know, you, you got you, you can't, you can't just give them easy plays. You can't, I don't care if it's a miscommunication, I don't care if it's uh, you know, a simple miss, clean, easy tackle, uh, a blown coverage, a blown gap. It doesn't matter. You can't give those things up. Again, if you're going to come into a place like this and play a very talented football team, you have to make those plays. And it's, it's hard enough to stop them. It's hard enough to score. It's hard enough to play good special teams when you execute the right way, let alone if you make mistakes. And uh, we'll have to clean that up. And they took away the run. We thought they were going to try to take away the run, and they did a good job of that for the most part. And the passing game has to show up. And I thought Joel uh, had pretty good command and did some good things with pass block. Um, you know, uh, other than the last drive, uh, we passed block pretty good. Uh, the play action was vicious, and uh, Jared was very talented. You can't cover Jared one-on-one, -on -one. at least nobody we've played yet can. So we'll see what happens. Gary, at the end of the half, when Ohio State had the, 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 the big hit for the touchdown, was that just a miscommunication in the secondary that, that occurred there? Well, uh, it, it, that, I don't know if that's a miscommunication, but we played it wrong. We did it twice, you know. I mean, we gave him, we gave him two long throws. So. And uh, one going the other way and one going that way. That's, that's 14 points, and that's a deciding factor in a football game. And so if a kid makes a play and it's a, a contested ball and we're in the position we're supposed to be in, then I can live with that. But when eyes are in the wrong spot or communication is wrong, um, it's unacceptable from a coach's standpoint. And trust me, I, I'm not looking at anybody but myself when it comes to that. So uh, i got to get it fixed first, and then hopefully assistant coaches and the kids can fix it second. You know, we, uh, they had made some adjustments, which was a good thing, and we started playing more man coverage, and I don't think they liked that too much. And... Um, you know, uh, we, 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 I don't think we tackled very well today. And that's another thing that, uh, you know, better athletes, again, credit to Ohio State. They broke tackles, they're physical, they made some big plays when they had to. But uh, we need to tackle better if we're going to uh, find a way to become a great team, which I would say now we're a good team, um, but we got to find a way to be great. Good time for a bye week. And in the fourth quarter, Gary, you didn't have Melvin Gordon. And Jacob Pedersen obviously was extremely limited here tonight. Is, can you tell us anything about those two guys moving forward here? Yeah, I think they'll both be good after the bye week and be 100% for Northwestern. I'm excited to come home and play in front of our home fans. With the way we've been running the ball, they, they need to pick one or the other. And they, at, In the first half, we're picking just to try and stop the run. And, you know, we were taking advantage of it. And I thought, you know, we did a good job with play calls and really across the board offensively. When you're... You know, second and three, and all of a sudden you're second and eight. Things like that, we can't have that happen. That's, you know, that kills drives. That hurts your team. And, you know, we got to tighten that stuff up and make sure we're, you know, getting better every week. Everyone saw us having a chance to win that game, knew we had to play a good second half, but, you know, never count ourselves out, kept fighting, and it was just disappointing how it, how it turned out. Yeah, it just seems like we've been in those situations, you know, the past couple of years, and, you know, it's just frustrating.
Yeah, I mean, I mean, our team never doubts each other. Uh, you know, we're, we're just going to keep working and keep going after it. You know, we know our defense will get some stops, and, you know, offense has to be able to convert. We just got to approach every game, um, you know, from now on, and, and we just got to, you know, work hard and, and get, the, get the wins. Um, you know, we can't really lose anymore. We got to go and, and win every game we play. Straight eye formation. Sam Armisen shifting to the right wing on first down. Hand off James White. Busting outside to his right. He's to the 15, to the 10, to the 5, to the end zone. Touchdown, Wisconsin. James White from 17 yards away. Make it 31-20. The Buckeyes early in the fourth quarter. With the Ohio State game behind them now, the Badgers have a bye week before hosting Northwestern a week from Saturday. And it's a little bit unusual, at least I think it is, to have two bye weeks in the month of October. Just curious, Coach, how, how you plan to how you plan to use that and then hopefully get your guys better in the long run here? Yeah, well, first of all, we'll look at the player side of it, and we'll, uh, we'll talk about it all the time. We're a little bit of an older team. So we'll take some time. We'll practice on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and prepare for uh, you know, the Northwestern uh, game, and then uh, the next bye will do the same for the next opponent. Uh, the young men in the program, they're in the middle of their developmental stages as far as the kids that are not traveling. Continue down those same lines with them through that week. We'll spend a little bit of extra time with them, some individual. We like this time of year. I like to get into scrimmages with the young guys and do some different things. It's very difficult for us because of our numbers, again, at the offensive line. Uh, and our prep teams just can't afford to take a hit, so we have to be careful. So we'll do more individual there. Coaches will go out heavily involved in recruiting. Uh, Wednesday evening, they'll depart a lot of them on Thursday and Friday. Uh, we'll practice on Thursday, light staff, mostly GAs and coordinators. And then Friday and Saturday, the kids will be off and the coaches will be out recruiting. And then we'll reconvene, if you will, on Sunday and move on to game week. Opportunity for uh, Coach Simon, Evan Simon, the strength staff, to, to get a little extra work with the guys as well. Yeah, it is. You know, usually they get in there a couple, three times a week this time of year, and but that'll be, we'll use some recovery. Uh, you know, there's tweaks that take place during the season, whatever it may be, and we'll continue to focus on those even more so during the bye week than we do um, the normal game weeks. I, I would think for younger guys, these kind of weeks can really be important where, you know, you can only do so much, they can only get so much attention from coaches as, as you get your other guys ready for games but this is I imagine an opportunity for these younger guys to to stand out a little it bit. It is it is and we you know we get to put it on film and we get to actually coach them for a little bit and uh, it may just be individual or some inside run drill or whatever but it's a time when you get coached in August and all of a sudden you don't get coached for eight weeks and you get co coaches come back and be involved so we'll use it as a benefit uh, much like we do once we get into bowl preparation uh, you know we get to the point that you want to get to a bowl every year and the big reason is uh, number one to get to a bowl, but number two for those practices. And so it's a, a mini version, bye week is a mini version of what we will hopefully use when we get to the point to get into a bowl. Yeah, important to emphasize, I suppose if you're a casual fan, you might think of it as a week off, but it's anything. Mm -hmm. But you, were, you mentioned the recruiting component, big opportunity for your staff to get out now, yeah. right? It is, we, we need to use that to our advantage. And you know, recruiting continues to just get sped up faster and faster. Uh, kids are committing. Uh, we're in a good spot. I like what we're doing with this class, but we've got to get out there and see kids play. You know, really shows the commitment of who we are and what we're about. If we're sitting there watching you play on Friday night, you still can't get in and sit down and talk to them. But there's actually a, a few games on Thursday that we're going to be able to go see also. I know we talked about this a couple weeks ago, but it probably is worth repeating when you can have a home game and, and recruits can come in. Obviously, you can't talk specifically about who is yep. here and all that, but that's important to get them here and see the atmosphere. Oh, it is. It's uh, you can talk about it all you want until you walk out there on game day at Camp Randall, and it's a, it's a special experience for all the young men and the parents and the coaches, whoever comes with them. Uh, and, and they can get with the young kids on the first night that they're here on Friday night when our kids are at the hotel, and then on Saturday night they get a, the idea of uh, you know what it's like uh, uh, for the older kids in the program to be their host. So uh, recruiting trips this time of year are, are very different. 
difficult within timing and really difficult for coaches, if you will. It's not easy to shift gears from game mentality to all of a sudden, you know, come back to get into a recruiting mentality. But I think kids are starting to understand that structure of it, and so are we. And it's a, it's a big, big positive to get them here this time of year. All right, a reminder, the Badgers return home a week from Saturday, a 2.30 kick against the Northwestern Wildcats. Coach Anderson will rejoin us in a few minutes with this week's great day and great question of the week. As well, our senior salute will continue as we focus on Ethan Hemer along with offensive lineman Zach Mathias. All that and more as the Badger Sports Report continues. Men love sports, but men can't always be at home with Charter TV watching sports. So men do what men have to do. They watch live ESPN on their mobile devices. Not simulated sports, real sports. Live ESPN, anytime, anywhere, even here. Watch ESPN is available at no extra charge for Charter TV customers. Download the app or visit charter.net slash on the go. Here is a story I'd like to impart, a tale of a little girl's sick, ailing heart. It begins with her doctor and favorite nurse, then on to her blankie and polka dot purse. As we are the UW, it is doubly true. We have gizmos and gadgets all shiny and new. With talents and skill and brain power galore, we fixed Kennedy's heart so she is sick no more. UW Health and the American Family Children's Hospital. Remarkable. 12th? Softball practice, 22nd. Antiquing, 30th? Picking up my drums. Sounds like you guys need a RAV4. It's all new this year. Cool new technology, great cargo space. What do you think? Perfect. Yeah. Oh, fourth. That's our wedding anniversary. I'll just be here. Get an amazing 0.9% APR for 36 months on the new 2013 RAV4. Visit your local Toyota dealer today. Toyota, let's go places. The Learfield Sports Directors Cup is the officially sanctioned annual award recognizing all around excellence in men's and women's collegiate competition. NACTA and USA Today co founded this esteemed honor in 1993, still widely recognized as the crowning achievement in college athletics. Three receivers left, Stavi in the gun, White to the right of the quarterback. Stavi to throw, Buckeyes rushing two, a pass over the middle, end zone, caught, touchdown Wisconsin! Back line of the end zone, and that was Sam Artisan on the catch. I would characterize my experience here in Wisconsin as memorable. I mean, every step of the way, I've tried to take it one day at a time, one opportunity at a time, and uh, try not to look too much at the big picture, you know, try and look more at, you know, the challenges I had in front of me. And it's, it's put me in a pretty good spot so far. You know, um, there's always a little bit more that can be done, and hopefully, you know, this this last year will uh, be my best. There's a lot of, a lot of, uh, personalities in our defensive line group, but it's fun. You know, we all get along, we all work with each other, uh, try and make you know, everyone the best D lineman we can. And it's paid off, you know, guys are making plays, guys are, you know, sound in their assignments. And, you know, hopefully we'll build on that now as we go down the year. I think our experience is probably what is, sets us apart because we've been in so many games and so many big time situations. Uh, you know, we. Our senior class as a whole you know, knows how to win. We know what it takes. You know, we know what the, the ingredients are for a great season. And so that in itself just provides us with a great you know, base to build off of as we go. We want to play for each other. We want to play with each other. We know that uh, our time on this field is very limited. You know, we only have a couple more hours left out here, which is strange because we've been here for so long. And uh, we're going to make that you know, as sacred as we can. Two receivers left, one to the right on second down. Play fake. Stone hit as he throws, and it's knocked away, incomplete. There was heavy pressure, and then Ethan Hemer getting his hands up. The first championship we won, just because it hadn't been done in 10 years, and we uh, were out here, and the fans stormed the field, and it was just, it was a really awesome experience, you know, to be a part of that. And, uh, 
do and to, to say I represented my family and my hometown and, you know, for something that means so much to this state. You try not to get used to it you know, because of the first few times that you do it, it's, it's an awesome experience. You know, the first I can remember the vividly the first time running down the tunnel and thinking how amazing it was that I had gotten to this point. Uh, now it's, you know, everyone needs to remind themselves, you know, this is special. This is a pretty unique spot that not a lot of people get to experience. And a lot of players would trade with us in a heartbeat to be here. And I think it's very important for us to, you know, to be conscious of that. This, deep, uh, this particular class wants to go down as one of the best that we've had in recent memory. And we've had a couple of good years, but you know, th those were that senior classes. You know. This year is our senior classes year. So we're gonna try and make this as memorable as we can. It's been awesome. I mean, I don't regret it at all. You know, Wisconsin's the greatest place. You know, it's the greatest university on earth. And I, you know, I, that's that's all I can say. Just coming here, you know, I was out of state, or you know, I really didn't know much about Wisconsin. I, I guess uh, because you know, I grew up as a Michigan fan. You know, so I basically had to get a new favorite. Yeah, you know, I had to get a new favorite school. So, but definitely coming here and like you know, the guys that came in with Travis, Frederick, Ryan, Roy, guys like that. You know, we just hang out. We became friends, and that's basically how I like you know got so. Uh, involved with you know Wisconsin, it's like those guys from there. You know, we're basically brothers, so it means like I'm from there. You know, so the old line, you know, we actually, you know, we come in every day. We uh, you know get our lift done. We all basically lift uh, with our different groups. You know, we have class, but we the old line pretty much over the summer we try to get together once a week, every two weeks. You know, go on go camping, stuff like that. You know, bring the camaraderie together there. I really what I try to do on the field is trying to lead by example. You know, I'm not a really vocal guy, so I just try to go out there and uh, try my best. You know, try not to screw up at all. You know, give the young guys an example to look at when they, you know, are watching film. Every year's a new year, and it's time for us because those everyone who's coming the past, they're gone. This is our season. You know, I kind of look at that as an example more than like a stepping stone. I'd say. Personally, I mean, a lot of people can say like, I want a Big Ten championship, I want a national championship. I'm not the kind of guy to like go out there and say that. You know, basically what I want is us to go out there, play together as a team, try our best, have no regrets when we're out there, and I think that if we can do that, good things will happen. Watch out! Oh my goodness! See you later! Oh no, he didn't! Down the sideline! Bring in the ruckus! Oh! Making him look silly! Uh-oh! Adios, muchachos! Cold blood! He's at the 15! 10! 5! <clears throat> oh, sorry, I got a little carried away there. The 429 horsepower Genesis R-Spec from Hyundai. Hot sauce! One day, cancer as we know it will cease to exist. But until then, there will be no rest, for they are the ones who push science, who seek more effective protocols and preventions, the ones who treat the most complex of cancers in search of cures. They are the world-renowned physicians, researchers, and healthcare professionals at the University of Wisconsin Carbone Cancer Center, Wisconsin's only nationally designated comprehensive cancer center. UW Health. Remarkable. When you buy Wisconsin dairy products, your hard-earned dollar brings you more than just the quality and great taste you know and love. It supports the dairy industry, which in turn reinvests that money back into your community, resulting in better public services, abundant recreation opportunities, and a beautiful place to call home. In all, dairy contributes $26.5 billion to Wisconsin's economy and eventually comes back to benefit you. To learn more, visit youtube.com slash dairyimpactwisconsin. The Badger Sports Report with Gary Anderson is brought to you by Charter Communications. By the Dairy Farm Families of Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. 
buy Hyundai. Buy Adidas. Buy Toyota. And buy UW Health, a cornerstone partner of Wisconsin Athletics. This week's Great Day and Great Question of the Week comes from Mary in Sheboygan. Pretty popular question these days, but let's, let's ask it again. What's it all about the tailback rotation? We mentioned a nice problem, but how do you or, or Coach Hammock, the position coach, how do you determine who's in at a specific time? Well, you know, by package sometimes. So, uh, depends on, uh, they are different. Each one of those young men are a little bit different. So by grouping, uh, the play that we're getting called, that sometimes has a bearing on it. The hot hand, you know, who's who's running the best sometimes gets the gets the call in those situations. And then you also want to be uh, uh, under the understanding that each one of our running backs can run our offense and be effective. They may be a little bit different, a little bit different style, but all three of them can handle it. So uh, it's not some magical plan, really. It's not. It's just a matter of kind of those three things combined would. Uh, kind of help us understand who and should be on the field at that point in time. And Coach Ludwig and Coach Hammock, and it's really Coach Hammock does a tremendous job of, of dispersing those reps. All right, Mary, thanks a lot for your question. The Great Dane, as you probably know, with four locations in Madison, the east side of town, downtown, Hilldale, as well as Fitchburg. And up in Wausau, there is a Great Dane up there as well. By week next week, Badgers back home a week from Saturday for a 2.30 kickoff at Camp Randall Stadium against the Northwestern Wildcats. We'll talk to you after that game. Thanks for watching. Congratulations, you've got yourself a new Toyota. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Woohoo! Woohoo! Toyota and Coach Anderson, big fans of each other. Right now, get an amazing 0.9% APR financing for 36 months on a new 2013 RAV4. Visit your local Toyota dealer today. Toyota, let's go places. The Learfield Sports Directors Cup is the officially sanctioned annual award recognizing all around excellence in men's and women's collegiate competition. NACTA and USA Today co-founded this esteemed honor in 1993, still widely recognized as the crowning achievement in college athletics.